Good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. And um, what we're seeing today is a massive sell off in the Chinese equity markets once again, uh, which caused the circuit breakers over there to trip with those markets down over 7% again for the second time this week. And that's had a big knock on effect to most other global equity markets. The Germany 30 in particular down almost 3% this morning and the Australia 200 also feeling the pain down about 2.5%. In fact, most global equity markets are really on the back foot this morning and the charts from a technical perspective are looking pretty ugly. So what's really causing this, uh, this kind of global pain right now is the currency devaluation of the yuan. It's having a big knock on effect right across the globe. The problem being is that if China keeps on devaluing its currency, then you're going to have a capital flight risk because obviously if you've got investments in the yuan and it's selling off aggressively against other currencies, as in imagine you're an American investor or a European investor, you've seen the value of your investment decrease every single time the Chinese government devalued the yuan, which they did again today, which took the market slightly by surprise. And it's just having a horrible effect on the rest of the markets. Looking at commodities as well in particular, if you've got the yuan devaluing, it now becomes actually more expensive in real terms in China to buy crude, to buy gold, silver, industrial uh, metals that you can't get domestically. So it has this knock-on spiral effect on some of the other markets as well. And we're going to be looking at some of those charts in more detail. But basically, it's about financial instability, uncertainty, and uh, as you'll see by some of the headlines running below uh, the bottom of this video so far this morning, there's a lot of negativity in the markets, uh, but that does also bring with it lots of opportunity depending on your view on the markets. So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and have a look at the US 30. So as you'll be able to see here from the chart, uh, we have had an aggressive number of candles. We smashed through potential support around about 16,700 and change. Uh, the Dow is down about 300 odd points so far this morning and it's at the bottom of its range. Uh, death cross on the moving averages, other technicals are relatively neutral, uh, but the fact is, is that we're trading below a major support and the fundamentals are not that great. 61% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short on the US 30, so that gives you a bit of an idea as to the sentiment out there. Moving on to the UK 100, we also have an incredibly negative candle because we have such a big exposure to metals and commodities, which are really getting smashed this morning. Very negative candle trading the bottom of our range. Uh, and we're already down a significant percentage so far this morning on the UK 100. We've got a bearish crossover on the MACD and the other technicals seem to indicate there could be further downside before we get any oversold um, aspects on there. We are approaching potential support at 5879 uh, and it is a, a particularly uh, bad candle so far so early in the morning. Moving on to Japan 225, 60% of our clients are buyers right here. I think that's because we are quite close to this potential support at 17639. Uh, again, ugly candle already trading at the bottom of its range, falling on from yesterday's ugly candle. We are getting, we are oversold on the RSI and we're just about to get oversold on the slow stochastic as well. So that gives you an idea of what to expect. We've got a death cross on the moving averages. Uh, after we're, we're just breaking, breaking below that support right now. Next potential support, 17,172. So then moving on to dollar yen, Surprise, surprise, everybody's buying the yen all day long. It's a safe haven asset. 65% of CMC Marks clients are currently long uh, on, uh, on, on dollar yen, uh, but they'll be feeling a little bit of the pain right now. The yen is a safe haven uh, in terms of turmoil. Same with, uh, with gold, um, but you can just see from the chart here that people have been buying the yen at the expense of the US dollar. We have been below 118. It slowly ticked back up again, but basically below this, there isn't another support level until you probably get down here, if I'm completely honest, closer to 116. And you can just see that that uh, client sentiment just moved uh, there just now. So we're actually just seeing uh, a, number of, a number of clients, certainly clients with a big position, reducing their long side on the dollar yen FX pair live as it happens. This is horribly oversold at the moment with the RSI and the slow stochastic, but the fundamentals are overriding the technicals. So then having a quick look at West Texas crude as well, uh, it is absolutely getting smashed. 86% of CMC Marcus clients are attempting to buy crude oil at the moment. Crude oil is down more than 10% in the last two sessions. Really, really ugly. And the thing is, once it's broken through $34, 
there isn't another support level. I actually had to go on to the monthly charts, which I'll just, uh, well, you be, this is the level right here. 26 spot, 73 is the next potential support level that I can find, which means we're massively in no man's land. You might be looking at $30 as being a psychological number to look at, um, but this, this is a bit of a problem. And it's all about the fact that China, because of the currency devaluation, will find a lot of their industrial materials a lot more expensive to buy. And this is, this is a big problem for West Texas crude. So even though you have Iran and Saudi Arabia like kind of pointing um, their, their sabers at each other, that's not really supporting oil price because they're going to keep on pumping and pumping and pumping because they need as much money as they can just now. Um, they can't afford to cut things back. And when I first started, actually started recording this video, this is closer to about $32. So it gives you a bit of an idea as to the extremity of the move. So then moving on to gold, gold's getting a, a, ni a nice kind of uh, move to the upside. Though as, as of the session highs, as we got closer to potential resistance at 11.04, it's been pushed back down again just now. So this would be a graveyard doji formation if it kind of forms like this, um, but we'll see how it continues throughout the, throughout the day. A very similar pattern to what we had for uh, dollar yen. So uh, the yen had gained much more strength, but then been pushed back up. Uh, but this is where we are just now. We are in the middle of two ranges, 1,087 and 1,104. And we finish up with euro dollar and GBP USD. Euro dollar clients are 66% uh, short. As you can see there, we managed to get a rebound back up to one spot, 08, only for it to get pushed back down again. It'd be interesting to see how that continues so far this morning. Other technicals are relatively neutral. And then if we finish up with GBP USD, clients are 74% long. It's really feeling the pain. And I need to draw this level on here because we're getting quite close to it just now. Uh, one spot, 45.66. Not so good for the sterling bulls. Uh, the trend is still quite negative. When you look at it right here just now, we broke below potential support right here. Uh, the next potential support, one spot, 45.68. Okay, so economic data wise, let me just bring my economic calendar up here for a second. You'll be able to see that we've got the housing index uh, that's due at 8 a.m. UK time. You do have the consumer confidence index. Let me just uh, stretch that out ever so slightly. Uh, that's going to be at 10. Uh, then you do have unemployment claims. And if we actually just fast forward onto Friday, don't forget, guys, we still have non farm payrolls to look forward to. Um, and now the ADP payrolls that came out yesterday were actually much better than expected. So hopefully we get some good news from the US, but certainly it seems to be a bit of bad news everywhere else. Well, guys, that's it from me just now. Uh, very good luck with your trading. And please join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.